See, the scriptures never lie. I want to start by giving all the praises, glory, and honesty. Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shah, Hashem, Chak, Wadash. Double honors to the elder apostles of the great millstone who are well. And as always, peace and salutations to the old four elect tabernacle of David, scattered over the four corners of the earth. It's not going to be a long video, but, uh, you know, this is just to, uh, to prove the point that the scriptures is always on point, you know, about everything, especially in regards to uh, wicked women. And when I saw this uh, video, you know, my, my mouth dropped. But can't be surprised, you know. Now, I'm pretty sure y'all brothers will already have a sense of what scripture I'm going to go to after I play this clip. But, uh, it's, I mean, it's, it's the perfect scripture because it, it, it's, it's, it's facts. It's the truth. And even uh, you sisters that watch us, you know, y'all know. You know, there's exceptions to the rule. If the shoe don't fit, you already know what the deal is. But even y'all agree with this. Now, pay attention to this real quick. Topic: Somebody sent me this video. Get caught. So I caught a text in some some dude this morning. Didn't want to tell me who it is. I said, okay, I let it go. So this is what she does. Then she want to try to uh, act like what you call it. Then like put on. call the police. Call the police, wifey. Check, check, check what you did. Tell, look at what you did. Look what you did. <laughs> now, look, look. You see how pushed me? Always putting the hands on me. Always putting the hands on me. So y'all see this? Witness, witness this. You, you woke her up. You're so loud. <sighs> look at this. This is what I deal with on a daily basis. Because you got caught texting somebody? You're mad because you got caught texting Once a dude? Again, you see this right here, guys? She broke the TV. She broke this TV. She broke this right here. So what I do? Her laptop broke in. Her iPad broke in. Everything in the house is broken, so she sucks. She comes home and she breaks my chain. She comes home and breaks my Stop touching me. Stop touching me. Stop touching me. No. No, they need to know who you are. Get off of me. Bruh. Yeah, they were speechless. It took them a while before they can even respond. Unbelievable, man. But, you know, you got those kind of women out there, man. Scriptures is on point. All right. Now, you already know where I'm going to go to in the Apocrypha. Let's go to Sirach 25. Only a straight up psychopathic narcissist would behave in that manner, especially when you're the one in the wrong. Because you got caught. All right, doing something you know you shouldn't have been doing. You take you take it out and black out as if you're the victim. Well, this is what the scriptures say, man. Sirach 25. In uh, 13, it says, Give me any plague but the plague of the heart and any wickedness but the wickedness of a woman. And uh, let me jump down to verse uh, 19. And it says, all wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Let the portion of a sinner fall upon her. All right. You, you, and, and that, that explains volumes about you. If you will fall for a woman like that, if you couldn't see the signs, if you couldn't, you know, you couldn't, you know, investigate, you couldn't read, you know, certain traits before you decide to, you know, deal with this woman. And I'm not sure if this dude had kids with the, with the chick. That 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 would makes it worse. I did hear some children crying in the background. That's all bad, man. But that explains the type of character you would have if that kind of woman would attract you. And let the portion of a sinner fall upon her. 
all right? I couldn't deal with that, man. I I, I don't know what I would have done in that situation. Because you in the wrong, all right? You the one that's uh, not being faithful. And then when I catch you on that, you have the nerve to act out on me and destroy my property? Shit. All right? And that's why also, because, you know, he called her on social media, these women shouldn't really be on social media like that. All right, down here at the 25th verse, it says, Give the water no passage, neither a wicked woman liberty to get abroad. And because if you give her that liberty, you know, she's going she's gonna to go far enough with it. And in this wicked society, these women got options. All right, they get chose up, man, and they know that. And men, you know, as far as their uh, value, and their worth, men have been on a decline, man, you know, to these women. And that's according to the scripture. It says that in Jeremiah, that, you know, the Lord would uh, create a new thing. A woman shall compass a man. You see? So a trash-ass woman is getting all the attention. And that's why you got men that are starting to wake up to, you know, female nature. Yeah, the jig is up, man, on, on, on you wicked modern women, man. And let me go to the one in Proverbs, because ain't no way in hell you're going to act like that. But you're the one that's uh, at fault. But hey, that, but the scriptures say that that's how a woman is going to be. Let's go to Proverbs 30. And like I said, I'm not speaking on, on, on all women, but most women behave like this, man. I mean, you see it all the time. You'll see these videos where a dude catches woman in the act or he'll go through her phone or something like that and she start going ape shit. She start going crazy. I saw a dude take a woman's phone just to, you know, look into her phone. And this woman, she, she turned into Freddy Krueger and shit, man. He he hopped in his car and, and, and was driving off and she was chasing. She was chasing the car. Then you'll have another incident where, you know, dude to take her phone in the bathroom and, and close the door and lock it and she damn near trying to break the, the door down. Why all that energy? Cause these women they know what they be doing ain't right. And they don't they don't want to be caught. This is um uh, the Proverbs 31. I think it's the next chapter. So look, let me go to uh Proverbs 31. <clears throat> Proverbs 31 and I think it's Proverbs 30. And normally I know this scripture, but it, it, it escaped me. So here it is. It's uh, Proverbs 30 and 20 says, Such is the way of an adulterous woman. She eateth and wipeth her mouth and saith, I have done no wickedness. You know, they have the nerve to commit a sin unto death, but act like they're pure and, and innocent. And you have the nerve, you have the audacity to check them. Yo. Yeah, yeah, this is this this modern era, man. It's 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 pretty it's pretty dark, man. All right, and all this wickedness is being exposed in these last days for a reason. Because the Lord is going to address it on in in the day of uh, judgment. But this 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 right here, man. You know, tearing up everything. Normally. The woman catching the dude, you know, which we know according to the truth, you know, a man can't really cheat. Now, he could commit adultery if he's sleeping with a, a woman that's uh, spoken for or married to another man. But a man can have more than one woman. That's not really cheating. You know, in this society, it's, it's considered cheating. But usually when that scenario takes place in a relationship where the man gets caught or whatever, she goes crazy and, you know, sla slashing tires and, you know, bleaching his clothes or whatever she do because she's jealous. 
right? But she actually was the one that that committed adultery, you know, giving her attention to another man, probably dealing with the dude. And then when he catches her, she wows out, she flips out. You know, that's 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 manipulation on a whole another level. So if you you end up with a woman like that, that's because you 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 a wicked person, man. All right, let the let the portion of a wicked person, the, a sinner, fall upon her. Okay, that's just oof. You know, it talks about having a um. Let me let me read this one right here. It's 16th verse. It says, I had rather dwell with a lion and a dragon than to keep house with a wicked woman. All right. That's you, know, you better off by yourself. Hey, Paul said, you know, it's better that you not touch one, man. But if you do, you know, ain't nothing wrong with that. If you burn, get you a woman. Okay. And deal with her according to her knowledge. If she a decent woman, she don't give you too much hell, then hey, deal with that, man. But don't don't go out there and get you a dragon, a a a, a super demon. I right, don't get you a Tasmanian devil with with <coughs> with weave. You don't you don't want those problems, man. All right, but anyway, you no, know, I thought I'd just do just a quick brief response to this, man. I was like, wow. You know, he caught her and she had the nerve to flip out. So, hey, the, 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 the scriptures never lies, man. It's facts. So, anyway, with that, call Lord Yahweh, Shem Yahweh Shai, Shalom, Wabrakatham.